I decided to learn more about this often invisible part of healthcare for seniors, and in a way, I started at the end with dying. I went to Victoria on Vancouver Island and visited a palliative care or hospice unit, a type of community-based care that specializes in helping patients who are nearing the end of their lives. Hospice palliative care is care for those individuals who are facing advancing illness. So all of this is focused on the ability to provide a, an environment where the individual is calmer, more relaxed, and just to have a much more respectful, dignified death with more closure for them and their families. There are standards that perhaps are perceived today as nice add-ons, but in fact we would argue that having the, the bereavement counseling is an integral and important part of end-of-life care. So if we can get to individuals who are dying at an earlier stage, provide them with palliative care here, it is going to be much more economical than seeing those patients having to go to emergency units. Well, my name is Julie, um, and I'm here uh, with my mom, who was diagnosed in April of this year with a very aggressive brain tumor and uh, we have found our way to hospice now for end-of-life care. What I get from this hospice is that this nursing is more human. It's not just the person and the body that's being cared for. It's the mind, the spirit, the soul, the family. The family is being nursed and cared for as well as the patient, and I think that's very big. Jeremy Tate's mother was also a patient at the Victoria Hospice, but before being admitted, Jeremy's mother experienced great difficulty with her health due to the shortage of residential care beds, a growing problem in senior care. As a result, she ended up being constantly bounced from hospital to her home. Uh, about 5.30 on the Saturday night, my mother was admitted to hospice, um, the care she was given in, in hospice was exemplary. It was um, a complete contrast to the, um, the deficiencies of the existing health system. I should add that the difficulties that um, my mother faced in getting proper treatment were in large part a function of the shortage of residential care facilities. I believe in 2007-2008 in the Greater Victoria Hospital the place was jammed with people who don't need to be there. So my mother couldn't get a medical bed because the people in the medical beds who didn't need uh, to be there any longer just simply couldn't get out because there's not enough residential care. I think it's vitally important that we have a strong home and community care system to support frail elderly because they are vulnerable. And if they don't get properly cared for, they will bounce into hospital and cause the type of occurrences and experiences that my mother had. Since 2001, the population of British Columbian seniors over 85 has increased by 43%. Meanwhile, the number of residential care beds available decreased by 804 beds. There is a need to address the sheer numbers of people that are needing these services. So my concern is that while increasing evidence shows that there is a growing population of older individuals who will need this service, we aren't going to be ready for them. Palliative care is only one of many forms of home and community care. Other types provide long-term residential care and assisted living, while less intensive types include outreach programs and services provided in seniors' homes. These community-based services should form a seamless continuum, according to experts like Marcy. I think what's really important is to think about health of seniors in a holistic way, making sure there's those community health services. It's making sure that people are never alone in their last days and years of their life. If you provide the social support, you're not going to have as high costs in the medical end, the most expensive end of the system. It's about supporting people to live and die with dignity, to have social support in the last days and years of their life. I think it's what I want and it's what most of the people want um, in our communities.